This next demonstration is seeking to show you how to create an append query. An append query is simply a query that uh, makes or attaches data to uh, other information or other tables. What I'm wanting to be able to do in this exercise is to be able to take the information from part 2, the part 2 table, and add it to the bottom of the part 1 table. The part 1 table is just some information that contains details of the hours that people have worked for particular weeks and it shows the employee numbers. The part 2 table shows similar information. It is the same structure except the dates about the week endings are different. So one is in for 2002, one is for 2003. And there are 69 records in this part, uh, part 2 table. What I'm wanting to be able to do is to bring the two tables together, to amalgamate them, to append them. I'll go into the query section, open my query design screen and choose the part 2 table. Now is the table that uh, is going to be uh, the one that attaches to the bottom of the other that's first selected. I only select one table. I then choose query and I choose append. And I want to be able to select the table that's going to be uh, receive this information. In this case, it's a part one table. I've just selected the options there rather than typing out the information. I then bring down the field names. Now I can do this uh, in, uh, two ways, but let's suppose I'm wanting to be able to just bring down or attach the employee number, the week ending, and the hours uh, numbers to the part one table. I'm not bringing down the ID number because there, there are common ID numbers in both of the tables. There will be both 1, 2, 3, 4 ID numbers in both part 1 and the part 2 table. So I'll leave the ID number out to prevent any uh, mismatch when I run my query. I check again just to see that uh, I've got my correct table that I'm going to add to. Yes, I run my query and access tells me that 69, 69 rows will be appended. Now that's the number uh, of records that appear in the part 2 table, so it appears that it's happening. If I go yes, notice there are no whistles and bells, access doesn't come out and tell you that it's actually done the task. What I should do here is just to check this information or check the tables to see that it's worked. I won't save this query. I'll go into the table section and choose part 1. If I look at my week ending information for the first table, you can see here uh, the first table contains hours for 2002 and then we go down to 2003. Or if I sort the records by employee number, uh, you can see here for, for each of the weeks I've got uh, an hour for, uh, hours for the year 2002 and the hours for 2003. The append query the last thing to remember is just to note that when you append data from one table to another, the structure of both tables should be identical.